And this just in the newsroom moments ago, a jury has returned their verdict in the trial of Tarakis Greer, who was facing multiple charges, including aggravated robbery and felonious assault. They have found him guilty on all counts and guilty on all specifications. He is now set to be sentenced in early December. Our Sartaj Singh recaps what happened in the courtroom earlier today on the final day of his trial. The final pieces of a jury trial being put together, all starting with the defendant, Tarakis Greer, taking to the stand himself. Greer is facing charges of aggravated robbery, aggravated burglary, and two counts of felonious assault. This case all began back in July of 2021, where police say that they were called to the 1600 block of West Wayne Street for a possible shooting. There they found three victims inside the home that had been pistol whipped during an apparent robbery. Two shots were fired in the incident. Greer and his co-defendant, Duran Tyson, were indicted by a grand jury. And after hearing from his co-defendant as well as line of police detectives, the defendant took to the stand to illustrate his version of events, saying that he had never met the victims in the case and denies the accusations brought against him. I have no fear. I'm not, I don't have a reason to be scared. I'm, up, I'm not up here telling a lie. It's not something that I fabricated. It's not something that I had to think about. Closing arguments followed shortly after, with the state addressing the fact that some witness testimony may not fit perfectly in the case, but all the arrows point towards the defendant. Things don't line up perfectly. Explain everything exactly perfectly away. Because if it did, if every single person's story lined up perfectly and explained everything, it might sound rehearsed. The defense pointing to a lack of transparency, while also pointing to Greer's testimony opening up a new possibility in the case. You heard him testify. He gave you a plausible alternate theory that comports with the evidence that was presented. So you have two probable, at least two, probable alternate theories of what happened. The state wrapping up closing arguments in the trial before handing it off to jurors by pointing out that the defendant specifically pointed out exact details of the crime to a secret wire interview. We know it's Wayne Street. He conceded, it, uh, conceded that it was Wayne Street. And the devil is in the details. Even if you heard this on the street, how would you know the exact details of what went on in that house? The only way you know is because you were there. In Lima, Sartaj Singh, your news now. Thank you, Sartage. And once again, Tarakas Queer was found guilty on all counts.